welcome back to the channel my name is mad dog games and this is the next episode on my step by step series where i'll be breaking everything down by steps of our parts so i can make it super and simple for you guys to do now in today's video we're going to be learning how to do an effective combo for sub zero our main combo uses one offensive meter and it's a mid screen combo we have a lot of things to cover here so this is what we're going to be doing throughout the video but before we get started let me ask you, are you looking for combos that are broken down into stuff for other characters on the roster? Because in the description down below, I have a link to that playlist. This is the 12th episode in the series. Now, to be able to perform this combo, this is the variation you'll need. Anyways, with that being said, let us start off with round 1. The first thing you want to do for part 1 is permafrost, which is back 3 2. Next, for part 2, now you want to add Ice Bomb, which is down forward 1. For part 3, now you want to walk forward into Jump Forward Kick, which is hold forward, and then jump forward 3 or 4. Part 4, now you want to add Frozen Over, which is back 1, 4, 3. Part 5, now you want to add Slide, Amplify, which is back for 3, Amplify. Round 2 Bonus tips and tricks. In this part of the video, we're going to be talking about mistakes, other alternative combos, and strategies for using this combo. Common mistakes. For someone that is picking up Sub Zero for the first time, the first common mistake I think you'll find is having trouble landing the cross up kick. It was something I had trouble as well. If you don't time it correctly, you won't be able to connect all this combo. What I do to make this happen is I first walk forward to position myself then jump over them and press jump kick right before crossing their head. I would recommend just practicing this part and build muscle memory. By practicing this odd timing, this will help you perform it when there's a small input window. Otherwise, this will happen. Now, another mistake I can see beginners making is relying on this combo starter for pressure and damage. Try not to make yourself predictable. If you use this combo all the time, your back 3-2 combo starter will get countered and punished. As Sub-Zero, your game plan is to be at mid to close range and approach your opponent in many ways by zoning, grabbing, poking, setups, punishes, and other types of mix-ups and pressure. That way it keeps your opponent on their toes. Sub-Zero has a lot of good space controlling tools, and not only that, he does very well to mid range because of the mix-up options. Alternative Combos here I'll show you the similar combos we have. The first one will be an easier alternative if you found the main combo a little challenging. As for the rest of the combos in this section, I'll be showing the wake up combos and mid screen combos using other variations. A little bit of everything to get you ready. Combo Strategy The main goal for Sub-Zero is to be able to confuse your opponent with your 50-50s, trap setups and resets as much as you can. For example, one viable mix-up strategy is to do jump forward 2 into back 1-4 into the mix-up you choose, low or overhead combo attack. This is a true 50-50 because they have one chance to get it right. The more you mix up your opponent, the more of the advantage you will have because they might easily get frustrated. When you're playing Avalanche Variation, a viable strategy is to use back 2 into down back 4 to set up a trap for your opponent. This does leave you in plus frames. There's a couple of options you can do. 
If he ends up blocking, you can dash quick into a grab. If your opponent decides to roll forwards, you're allowed to whiff standing one so your opponent gets caught in his trap for a free combo. I don't know why but this has something to do with his hitbox. But doing an attack while your opponent is rolling will register that there is something in front of him and push them back into it. But don't worry, you are plus frames here. If he decides to roll backwards, that gives you a chance to punish him with a slide. These are just some of the strategies that are very important to optimize Sub-Zero gameplay. Although this main combo does not push the opponent to the corner, modifying a little bit would be the best choice if you wanted to push your opponent more to the corner. Now let us take a look at Sub-Zero's corner combos because having combos ready to go will get you one step closer to winning the match. With that being said, here are the combos I would recommend you to use. Round 3. Finish them. In this section, we're going to learn essential information and tools to finish your opponent off, such as learning Sub-Zero Crushing Blows, Fatal Blows, and Character Overview. Crushing Blow Combos The first requirement to trigger this Crushing Blow is by punishing or countering your opponent by uppercutting. The requirement to trigger the second one is by having your third slide amplified hit. The requirement to trigger this third one is by having to end your combo with cold encounter and having a combo with 8 or more hits. Fader Blow Combo The only requirement for performing this is that you'll need to be 30% or less than 30% health. This is more of a comeback situation, a combo to get you ready if you get the chance. Now let us talk about the pros and cons or strengths and weaknesses for playing Sub-Zero. Now for the pros. Sub-Zero has plenty of 50-50 and mix-up options to keep your opponent always guessing. Comfortable at any range, has solid projectiles, attack from mid-range, and mix-up at close range. One of the best projectiles, because using Ice Ball creates openings for a free combo, as well as controlling space at far range. Your opponent can't play reckless. Execution is great for beginners, plenty of practical crushing blows that will help you deal more damage to your opponent. Now for the cons for playing Sub-Zero. Without relying on crushing blows, damage is overall pretty low. Certain special moves are risky and will leave you open for a punish. Although they are great, be careful against faster characters like Slide, Ice Ball, and Frozen Over. Tournament variations are decent. Non-tournament variations offer more. He's able to deal more damage and setups. Lastly, against certain matchups, he can get overwhelmed by faster characters, especially at close range. One last thing, if you guys want to continue supporting the series, I went ahead and started a Patreon. I want to give this a try. As you all know, making Mortal Kombat content is difficult as most if not all videos get demonetized right away. Videos like these takes a lot of research time and a lot of editing time. And for someone whose time is very limited, with co full time college, part time work, aside from YouTube, it's very challenging so any amount of support would be highly appreciated. Anyway, looking for more future combo guides? Please take a moment and subscribe for future videos and remember to check out the playlist in the description. If your character's not there, let me know in the comments down below. With that, my name is Battle Games and I'll see you guys next time.